Joined here by Calvin Head swim coach Dan Gelderlos after a very successful opening day and evening at the MIAA Men's Swimming and Diving Championships. And uh, Dan, uh, it's been a long time coming for this men's team. They haven't competed in quite a while. And uh, boy, they really, uh, they took to it today, didn't they? They sure did. Uh, you know, it's been a wild and crazy four or five weeks uh, starting way back at the end of January. And there were many a day that, uh, you know, through COVID and protocols and quarantines that we didn't know if we, who we were going to have or well, who was going to finish the season and all this kind of stuff. I thought this morning kind of reflected a little bit of anxiousness, um, just kind of not knowing what was going to happen. Uh, am I still going to have it? Uh, you know, those guys missed anywhere from a week to two weeks to some of them three weeks. And uh, so they were a little apprehensive there, and but they still got the job done. Um, we still put people where we needed to put them overall. And then I really give them credit for a one of the, probably one of the more special nights that we've had in a while, uh, dating back to you know our run of three and three championships in a row. Uh, I think you just said eight of nine uh, yeah. victories, uh, first place finishes, uh, and uh, we kind of gave uh, Bryce the. Uh, a little business there for not taking care of the 200 breaststroke, but uh, he even had a best lifetime best there and uh, had some fun with that one. But uh, it was just an awesome night starting off with Cammy's uh, yeah. 100 butterfly and then it kind of just snowballed from there. Yeah, I mean, Cammy, uh, you know, last year he wasn't 100% physically uh, under the weather and he still, if I remember, competed and gutted it out. So for him to, you know, be here in much better condition and then kind of pull the surprise a little bit there it has to be pretty sweet not only for him but you know for all the guys around him they're really excited to see him win that race absolutely uh he had a like 104 105 degree fever last year we tried to uh, push his events as late in the meet as we could uh he tried to pull it out and he was just uh he didn't have any strength and so to for him to to come back and uh, do that, uh, take some patience, uh, take some consistency, takes uh, some belief in uh, getting through the summer and the fall and uh, this crazy past few weeks, but uh, he was able to do it. Well, he just uh, went by the window there, give me a little fist pump, but Julian Oturbe, uh, boy, he had a tough uh, double individual, you know, winning the 500 and then coming back to win the 200 IM, not that much longer. Uh, that was an impressive night for him, wasn't it? Sure. Uh, he. Yeah, I give him credit too. He dropped another second off of his own um, 500 best time. Uh, he added in a new event uh, to an event that he's won at MIAA's uh, 149 and a new MIAA record, I believe. Uh, and uh, then in true Calvin fashion, I guess, uh, he filled in the breaststroke role for a medley relay uh, and uh, made it work. And so uh, just an incredible talent, incredible. Uh, he's grown into an uh, incredible person and uh, it's fun to see him succeed. The relays were outstanding tonight. Uh, and you had a school and a lead record, right? Um, leading off the 200 free relay uh, I, with Noah Holstein? I believe so. He, uh, 19 sevens, a uh, 50 free MIAA record. I don't know what the two free relay record was if we, we got where we Yeah, but that. individually Noah yeah, ended up yeah. getting that 50 free record. Yep, absolutely. So, uh, and Julian was a little bit, uh, uh, you know, jealous on the sideline because he went 19 earlier in the season and then uh, Noah had robbed him, uh, got him back and uh, sitting in the top dog right now. But uh, two 19s this year, uh, with all that's happened, it's pretty cool. And the 100 free, I mean, that was really domination. I think you guys took, what, five out of the top six events and uh, was it Jacob Harris ended up uh, yeah. pulling it out there at the end, uh, beating his own teammates. But man, that was great. Yeah, he was the one that brought it back the best. Uh, you know, it's fun swimming with uh, teammates right next to you. So we had that going for us. And to see him come through uh, was uh, a pretty cool first MIAA victory for him. Yeah. Um, and he was also one with Julian that was uh, in the 104, 105 degree fever category last year at MIAA's. Uh, so to see him come through and just get better with each swim was uh, uh, also fun to watch. And let's not forget the diving. You had three guys in the, in the finals, a pair of brothers, and the youngest of the brothers ends up winning the whole yeah. thing as a freshman. That was awesome. Yeah, as you know with your boys, uh, the younger one always has the advantage, right? <laughs> You're 100% correct yeah. there. And so, yeah, so 
uh, it was it was a nail biter. I think Jordan kind of got a little bit of a gap at the beginning in the first couple of dives and uh, just hung. I mean, it was always maybe five to 15 points after each round and kind of just hung on uh, till the very end and uh, got his first MIAA victory as a freshman. Made a pretty big statement there. So you got about a 60 some point lead going into uh, day two, which will actually take place on Saturday. It's a Thursday, Saturday meet with a break in between. How do you go about just kind of preparing, uh, resting a little bit and then coming back for a long day on Saturday? Yeah, well, I think today is gonna set up for a, a pretty uh, fun uh, feel, feel good day tomorrow. Um, we're gonna come in, we'll talk a little bit, we'll uh, laugh a little bit. We're going to uh, pretty much float in the water and flush it out a little bit more. Um, they're supposed to be uh, kind of recovering right now. Uh, so we'll uh, enhance that as much as we possibly can, uh, get them out of here while the sun's shining still, and uh, get them to some more rest before another big Saturday. All right, well, congrats on an opening uh, day one here. And uh, we'll look forward to that Saturday. Thanks again, Dan. Yep, can't wait.